I'm 17 years old and I see this girl. She's beautiful, but I ignore her because she's out of my league. That's what I thought. Like, this is my belief. I need to work on myself. Then I'll get girls like that. But one day I see her looking at me. I was like, what is this? What is happening? And then we are, every day we started seeing each other in classroom. Like, instead of studying, we are seeing each other, looking at each other. So it's clear. I like her. She likes me. Whole class know this. But I don't have balls to go and ask for her number. Also, I heard some rumors that his parents are super strict. So I was making that excuse that, yeah, I shouldn't go and talk to her because what will her parent do to her? But the reality is I am scared to like talk to girls. I'm scared to go and approach her. I'm scared to go and just have a normal chat and ask for a number. So all we are doing is looking at each other for exactly 31 days we are looking at each other there were days when she said focus on study like you know in love or in a good way i was like no you teach me <laughs> and then there was a day when she did this like she was she asked for my number right and i thought i'm just daydreaming this is not true so she asked for my number and i still didn't do anything yeah teachers day so it was like a special day balloons everywhere everyone celebrating so after the class was over i had written like four or five pages in a notebook about, about my feelings i was like i'm going to do it because i can't sleep i'm always thinking about her so i wrote everything and i was like i'm going to give it to her obviously my number was there when the moment came i got scared I ripped all the pages, I just wrote my number and I was scared but I went and gave it to her. So we started dating, we started talking, things were good and one day she left me. Just like every other relationship, the boy has no clue why did she leave me. Like this is most frustrating thing. I We don't even know why we are heartbroken, she left us but why? She left me, but why? She didn't even tell. I'm crying, asking for the reason, blah, blah, blah. I didn't follow my plan. My plan is if I want to be a parent, I'll learn about it. If I want to go in a relationship, I'll learn about it. I want to be, I want to be fully prepared before I do this. But this time, this was the first time, so I didn't do it. Like now I'm going to learn everything about male and female, like biological needs, every needs, everything, how it works, how relationship works, how... You can like live a healthy relationship. I don't want to go through a heartbreak again. So I started learning and that's when I realized I was a weak little boy and I made her my world. The day you choose her over your career is the day you lose both. I stopped focusing on my studies, thinking about her all the time, talking to her and not being like a masculine figure, uh, holding her hands or taking her out, anything. I was uh, just scared. My grades or marks in classroom was like all time low when she was leaving she said this you don't have a future girls like a guy who have a goal even though you're not a millionaire or something like that if you are passionate you have a mission you're working hard that's what they need they want the confidence but i didn't have neither the confidence nor the goals like i had this belief that i will be big in life i'll be famous and rich multi-millionaire whatnot but at that point of my life i was just not doing anything I was like, yeah, I have a girlfriend, I love her so much, everything, you just see it's my word. Now when I say the day you choose her for your career is the day you lose both, there won't be a particular day when you will be given two options or two pills, her or your career, and then you have to choose your career over her. It's not like that. You will be tested every single day. Let's say you have an alarm at 6 a.m alarm rings up you wake up and you have decided it's your time to hit the workout hit the gym and she wants to cuddle this is your test her or your mission of what you said your career you kiss her and say babe i have to go and you leave because if you cuddle she will smile and all but she will lose respect like he didn't do what he said he would he's not a man but if you leave for the gym after you kiss her she will be like sad and stop but she will actually respect you that 
he does what he says he's passionate about his mission he is professional there will be times when she will say you don't give me time you're always working just simple kiss her love her and still go and do the work because these are the tests and she wants to you know see if you will be weak if you will show emotions and all for her test they will test you emotionally every single day if her saying something offends you or triggers you you are like how do you say? not like a child you should be like calm and if something offends you or something is not right you say it like respectfully babe that's not right you, you tell her your boundaries but don't be reactive to things like yeah you do you say this that's how they show you in the movies but that's not how it works the big thing for women is they wanna be safe women are always scared there was a survey done like like there was this crowd and it was asked like to men when was the last time you were scared in last 6 months so only 2 3 people hands over but when it was asked to women when was the last time in last 6 months you like you were you felt scared every woman raised their hand when was the last time you were scared in like last 7 days in last week no men like raises their hand because we are we feel safe we can walk around fuck around right 80% women raised their hand in last week they were scared so you know how tough it is for women right so they feel scared so what they want to feel when they with you is safe and if you are a emotional man emotional men are weak they can't be trusted if she can't trust you she won't feel safe this is why you have to have goals always choose your goals and stick to your words be a man of your words whatever you said do it no matter what that's how she will trust you like what he if he said this he will be there then he'll there if he said this he'll buy me this he'll buy me this if he said that he will protect me he'll protect me again just lie at his chest and feel like he is my world and i am at the safest place that i can be he is strong he can fight he can make money he is charismatic he can talk well that's all they need they just want to feel safe so now when you love them so much always be available and say i'm going to do this could do that you will be so needy and they will leave you it's harsh truth that a nice guy they always leave the nice guys harsh truth it it's biologically unattractive to women it's not their fault so that's why you shouldn't be a nice guy but a gentleman you have boundaries you work on your mission your mission is your first priority but whenever you are with her you love her you give her everything she needs whenever you are with her be fully present don't think about your mission purpose when you are with her don't think about work don't have any thoughts just be with her fully present love her see her energy see her turn feminine around you and love you so much feel everything love her like it's the last time you are seeing her